Policy Expert Parliamentary Sessions are where we, uh, as an organisation, uh, go out to uh, a number of MPs. We're, we're selective. They may be newly elected MPs. They may be, may be MPs who have expressed an interest in our sector. But basically, it's called RC Expert because we are there to answer their questions. Some of these we get in advance. Some of them we don't. But also what it does do is really reflect what is coming to them as MPs from their constituents. So it's really good ground feel, groundwork, temperature of what the issues particularly are coming to their doors. Occasionally we might have an issue that the MP themselves has uh, encountered over property. That's not uncommon. But it does give us an idea of where they're coming from, what they as MPs will be focusing on, and also for the future enables us to go back to them because we've identified what their strong views are and perhaps taper those and direct those to some of the things that we're doing. We're now expanding it to not only Westminster, but to Holyrood and to Northern Ireland. So again, we get the feeling from all the devolved nations, including Wales, uh, as to what their particular um, feelings are because they do differ. This was an initiative um, from Property Mark posed by our uh, public affairs advisors to enable us to get even closer to government. And normally when we engage with government, it will either be with officials or it will be relatively senior members or, or very senior members of government. So it's something that we've uh, initiated. We're the only organisation that does this. In terms of regularity, we try to have uh, three of these sessions a year uh, with Westminster and as I said we're expanding them to uh, Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales and again uh, replicate that numbers there. So it's gaining in popularity, gaining in frequency. Predominantly it is the Member of Parliament uh, asking us questions. As I've said before they will stem from what's coming in their post box, what the concerns of our constituents. Um, but it, as you say it does allow us to ask them questions particularly if we are looking to carry out some specific lobbying or just wanting to gain some uh, insider information as to where they think things might be going in the future. I think in, la in, in the last few sessions, the issue of stamp duty and the stamp duty holiday has been recognised. Uh, that has enabled us uh, to not only communicate this to members to say yeah we have got uh, MPs on our side they know the concerns and they will help us to bring that attention and that focus to government and also to reassure our members that we are listening and others are listening to us and have the same uh, feelings in terms about stamp duty holiday and other policy issues.